Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As we all know that the Aero India Show 2023 is around the corner, the experimental test pilot Harsh Vadan Thakur has shared the first animated video about HLFT-42 or Hindustan lead in fighter trainer. The mysterious new aircraft has been in news and surprise for defense enthusiasts and it is very close to what we have discussed earlier. The design of this aircraft has a striking similarities with HL Marut. While Marut was twin engine aircraft, HLFT is going to be a single engine trainer. From the video, the weapons payload of the aircraft seems to be quite impressive. Now if we compare the fuselage, wings and tail section of HL Marut, it looks very similar to the video released for HLF-42. From what it seems, HLFT is going to inherit a lot of design from HL Marut and electronics and avionics from the LCA program. The HLF-42 has been in quite news after its detail was revealed during the HL's investor meet. The details of this aircraft was revealed when the question was asked for the need of HLF-42 when HL already have the Hawk program. Recently we have also made a video on Hawk Eye, also known as Combat Hawk program. So if you look at the domestic as well as international market, there's a huge requirement for AGT, which is Advanced Trainer Jet. And this is the final phase of fighter pilots training. India has been pitching for sale for LCA trainer version for such requirement to countries like Egypt, Malaysia, etc. While LCA Tejas is not only a trainer but a full-fledged combat aircraft it is a costly proposition in international market and that's why it is struggled to compete therefore it does make sense to develop a low-cost advanced jet trainer or AJT which could compete in the international market at present HL has HJT-40 as a basic trainer and IJT that is intermediate jet trainer Sitara as IJT the HLF-42 will add to the AJT section of the HL portfolio and this will enable HL to have all three trainer aircraft offerings required for fighter pilots training. Now talking about details of the aircraft, HL has revealed that it is going to be all metallic aircraft and will not have full fly-by-wire control system which means that the aircraft will have power assisted controls. The trainer most likely will not have delta wing design and we have seen that in the video as well unlike other trainers um, and will have swept wing design therefore the full fly-by wire will not be needed now since delta wing aircrafts are very unstable like lc tejas and they are designed for maneuverability the full fly-by wire is mandatory over there hlf 42 is going to be designed especially as a trainer rather than a fighter aircraft so we'll have virtual training modes, which means that aircraft will be able to simulate any fighters such as Mirage, Rafale, etc. The aircraft will have higher speed to give physical feel of speed to the trainee pilots. It will feature virtual mode of all displays, weapon delivery, everything which it can simulate. The aircraft will have all indigenous systems including display systems, flight controls, except for the engine. Now, if HL is able to successfully develop HTFE-25 engine, even this engine can also be indigenous. The high indigenous content and maintainability of this aircraft will be much superior when compared to the other aircraft. To conclude, the aircraft looks very similar in category with BAE Hawk trainer jet featuring two-seat trainer with a tandem cockpit, low-mounted cantilever wing and powered by a single turbofan engine. The aircraft may or may not have supersonic speed but it will be very close to it, possibly in the range of 0.8 to 0.9 Mach to give pilots transonic flight experience before they move on to a supersonic fighter. In summary, HL is developing a full-fledged, low-cost, advanced jet trainer which could fulfill the domestic demands and compete in the international market. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section.
If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.